Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers Season Replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Milwaukee Brewers at County Stadium. On the mound for Detroit is Jerry Uger, whose record is 4-3 with a 3.91 ERA. And pitching today for the Brewers is Bill Travers, whose record is 5-3 with a 2.72 ERA. Okay, so we get out of Baltimore with another loss. Uh, we lost 8-3 to three yesterday. Trammell hit a home run. Robbins was terrible on the mound. Uh, then Tom Hume, after we closed the gap to 4-3, to three, Tom Hume came in and gave up four runs without getting an out, uh, ballooning his ERA uh, to almost four. So not a good performance by the bullpen. We had the day off. We go to Milwaukee. Check out the Brewers, who are on a roll. They're 28-28 after their 1-11 start. Uh, we did uh, make three minor league trades in the last couple of days. So let's just review them real quick before we get the game started. Let's take a look at the transactions. Uh, so, yeah, we had three trades. The first one, we traded uh, Jeffrey Leonard to Eddie Milner. We did that because Leonard was going to be a free agent. So we uh, get a... A defensive outfielder back. He's now in the majors. He's our fourth outfielder with um, Glenn Wilson being injured. So he can play anywhere in the outfield. Fantastic defensively. Not a great hitter. Although in his last pro year, 1979, he batted 310. So not too shabby. He was not that great in Atlanta, but since he's come over, uh, he's played three games for us with four hits. So, um, Nonetheless, he's a defensive player. We won't see him probably too much. Then we made uh, two trades yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday. Um, two trades that we really benefited from. They were offered to us. It wasn't my suggestion. We got Guy Salars from the Giants. He's in the majors now. Uh, fantastic in the infield. Can play any position, uh, including left field if we needed to. Uh, not a great hitter, but we're not really worried about that. Ultimately, uh, Guy Salars will replace uh, Mark Wagner, who uh, is a free agent at the end of the season. And I don't think we're going to, we're definitely not going to resign him. He's as good as gone right now. I would trade him, except nobody wants him. So uh, the other deal that we did that was offered to us was actually a three for one deal. But the other two players, other than George Wright, I didn't want. Like, we're trying to save money. As you can see here, we're, we have a projected loss of $221,000. So, um, we traded Bryn Smith away, who was making the minor league, uh, major league minimum of 43000 He was terrible for us. We sent him to the minors. Oh, he pitched like a shutout <laughs> in his only start in the minors. No, he'll probably win a Cy Young with the Rangers. He, he goes right to the rotation. Uh, he won't be missed. He did not help us in any way. Uh, and we got George Wright back, who, again, is a um, center fielder. He's in double A. He's never played above single A, even though he's 23. So we, we tossed him right to double A. Good defensively, uh, despite his poor numbers of uh, batting. In real life, he was a pretty solid hitter. Uh, not great contact. But I think maybe with a year or two of the minors, he could benefit us somewhere down the road. So, And ultimately, it was a salary dump because George Wright is making $2,700. So we save $40,000 plus uh, George Bush wrote a $100,000 check to us. So thank you, George Bush. Um, so let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe if you enjoy this content. I apologize in advance. Allergies here in South Tucson are horrible right now. Um, and... Uh, I may cough at some point. It's not the vid. Don't worry about it. I don't have the vid. It's just allergies. Uh, so Jerry Uger on the mound. Look at how terrible Bruce Robbins is. He took a loss yesterday. But um, Uger on the mound today. The current Brewers lineup is batting 313 against him. Only 18 total at bats. So not a lot to go on. The bullpen is available. Look at Tom Hume. The ZRA up to 377 after giving up those four runs yesterday. And then here's our lineup for today against the lefty, Bill Travers. We suck versus lefties. So I've done some 
moving around. We're going to have Wagner as shortstop today. We're going to move Trammell to first. He plays first. Probably better than he plays short, to be honest. Uh, Kirk is going to be the DH. <laughs> Excuse me. And then um, Ricky's back in the lineup. He had yesterday off. And he's in left field. Dawson's in center field. And uh, Bass is in right. So we move people around. A little shiftiness. Trying to get um, some bats uh, you know, awoke from their slumber. There's the uh, current stats for all the Tigers. And for the Abreu crew. And here's the lineup rundown for Detroit today. Batting leadoff and playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second in left field is Ricky Henderson. Batting third at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting cleanup and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting fifth in center field is Andre Dawson. Batting sixth at first base is Alan Trammell. Batting seventh in DHing is Kirk Gibson. Batting eighth in right field is Kevin Bass. And finally, batting ninth, playing shortstop today is Mark Wagner. Bill Travers on the mound for the Brew Crew. Uh, I believe in 1982, he was already out of baseball. Uh, as this was his last card, this is the 1981 uh, Tops card for the Angels. So not only was he no longer on Milwaukee, after the 80 season but uh, he was out of baseball and that may be why his uh era is almost seven why did it say i have his era being a 2.72 uh so i'm very off on that i must have typed in the wrong stats so forgive me for that three and three six nine five era i like that sound of that much better than the uh five and three two seven two era and opponents are batting 309 against him Okay, let's get to the ball game. There's the defensive alignment for the Brew Crew. Right field is Cockrell. He's below average. And the third baseman is Randy Azador. Also, uh, not so good defensively. Sweet Lou leading off against Bill Travers. And a ground ball to third. Azador tosses him out. One down. Next up is Ricky coming off a day off. There we go. Henderson walks. And I would love to steal, but we know Charlie Moore is not to be messed with. 72%, um, and it's a lefty as well. So um, that's just really, I mean, 72% is a great number to have, but I, I just don't trust it. We're going to let Hatcher swing away. He's betting 313. Base hit to center field. Hit and run was on, so Henderson will go to third. Still only one down. Here is Big Wheel, Lance Parrish. Let's just get that ball to the outfield. He's batting 361 versus lefties. Three for nine with a home run in his career against uh, Bill Travers. And he definitely needs a day off as he pops it up on the infield. There is a foul out to first. That says behind home plate. So we'll give that to Charlie Moore. So two down. Here's Andre Dawson. Dawson... Had a good couple of games in a row. His average up to 203. He hits clutch, and he hits a line drive to second base. Molitor makes the play. So we leave two runners stranded. We go to the bottom of the first. Here is the lineup rundown for the Milwaukee Brewers. Batting leadoff, playing first base is Bob Scooby. Batting second at shortstop is Ed Romero. Batting third at second base is Paul Molitor. Batting cleanup at third base is Randy Azador. Batting fifth in center field is Chet Lemon. Batting sixth in DHing is Dave Sachs. Batting seventh in right field is Alan Cockrell. And batting eighth, catching today is Charlie Moore. And finally, batting ninth in left field is Doug Lohman. Jerry Uger, pretty good. I mean, for a number four starter, this is about as much as you can ask for. He's four and three, a 391 ERA. Uh, he's got one more walk to strike out. Neither one of those things he does particularly often. 
Uh, no complete games in his career. Opponents are betting 296 against him. He has faced Milwaukee once, and he took the loss. That was back on May 5th. He went three and two-thirds innings, uh, giving up seven runs, but only two were earned. So the defense did not help him out that game. Gave up six hits and a hit by pitch. Okay, so let's see if he can have a little bit better of a game today. Take a look at the defensive alignment for the Tigers. A little weird looking at that uh, defensive alignment with uh, Wagner at short and Alan Trammell at first. A higher rating at first than at short. Bob Scooby, the rookie, leading off. A base hit. Oh, no, ground ball to first. I thought that was going to get past Trammell. Good job by Tram covering some ground. He's got some range at first. Next up is Ed Romero. And there's the error. <laughs> we were never too far away from getting an error as Hatcher boots it at third. And uh, maybe the only player in this lineup that you don't want to face, that's Paul Molitor. Muter jams him as he flies out to left center field. Two down. Up next is Randy Ozador batting 196 with four home runs. He's your cleanup guy, and he gets a base hit into center field. First hit for the Brewers, Romero, with two outs, somehow does not go to third. It's going to leave it up to Chet Lemon. 260 overall, betting 230 versus righties. And a grounder to Wagner at short, and Wags tosses him out. So both teams leave two runners stranded. We go to the top of the second. No score. Here's Trammell leading off. He rips it into left field. He had that home run yesterday. Do we want to go for two? 40% chance? No. No point. We will. Wow. Um, wow. Gibson's hit and run is no longer 80. It's down to 77. I guess he is hitting against a lefty. And we're definitely not going to steal. So I guess we got to let him swing away. And that's going to be a double play as he hits a ground ball to second. 4-6-3. And I'll leave it up to Kevin Bass to get a two-out rally going. And he strikes out. Another bummer of an inning. We go to the bottom of the second. We got Dave Sachs, Alan Cockrell, and Charlie Moore. Dave Sachs leads off with a ground out to Whitaker. Alan Cockrell up next. Strikes out looking. Hey, a strikeout for Uger. He gets one per start. That's the one. Charlie Moore up next. Batting 345. Gets a base hit into right center field. Average up to 353. I don't think he was the starter at catcher before. I think it was Sachs. So somehow they work him into the lineup. I don't think he, yeah, he definitely doesn't qualify for the batting title. But pretty decent average. Okay, two down. Number nine hitter, Doug Lohman, lines out to right, and that'll do it. We go to the top of the third. Still no score. Mark Wagner leading off. Mark Wagner betting 414 overall. And he rips it down the left field line. Falls in for a hit. And Wags has himself a double. We're going to hold him there. Look at this guy. We've got to take a look at him. Let's do a little more in-depth look at Wagner. He's not going to be around for long. But he's 13 for 30. He's our um, Bobby Ramos this year. Five doubles now. One triple. Uh, only three Ks. I uh, can't steal, but look at that OPS. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that guy? But he's untradeable. I've tried. Nobody out there wants him. Okay, so leadoff guys on second. That's Wagner. Here is Sweet Lou, lefty on lefty crime. Pulls it down the right field line for a hit. Wagner scores, and we're going to go for two. It's going to be close, but... Whitaker's hustling. He's safe at second base. Good job by Sweet Lou. RBI double. A hustle double. That's Lou, only the fourth double for Lou this season. Okay, so back-to-back -back doubles. 
Oh, it says a single, and then he went for an extra base and reached second. So that's a double, right? I mean, that's. I mean, I know that is two bases, but I'm assuming the game counted as a double. We'll check the. Um, we'll check uh, the box score afterwards. And then Ricky walks for the second time. Still nobody out. Now we're going to let Hatcher swing away instead of hit and run. Grounder to first. And a double play. Whitaker goes to third. It'll be up to Parrish to get Lou in. Nope. Pops it straight up. This one will definitely be behind the plate. And uh, leave another runner stranded at third. We do take the lead on the uh, Whitaker double. It's one nothing Detroit. Back to the top of the lineup with Bob Scooby. Scooby hits a ground ball to short. One down. Next up is Ed Romero. And he's got his second hit. A double into right center field. That is Romero's. 16th double of the season one shy of his career high next up is Paul Molitor Molitor flips it to right field and Bass makes the play Romero tags up goes to third with two down here's Randy Asador he had a base hit ooh Uger walks him to bring up a a tougher hitter, Chet Lemon. We're going to play everybody straight away. And he hits a screaming line drive at the uh, shortstop Wagner. We get out of the inning, leave two stranded. We go to the top of the fourth. one nothing Detroit. Dawson up. Dawson lifts it to center. One down. Next up is Tram. Trammell hits a ground ball to third. Two outs. And Gibby. Hot shot to third. Nice play by Azador. One, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Dave Sachs will lead off. And lifts it into left center field right over the shortstop's head. Falls in. Little duck snort base hit. Fourth hit for Milwaukee. Alan Cockrell up next. Lazy fly ball to left. Henderson makes the play. One down now for Charlie Moore. Moore pops it up. There we go. Plays made in foul ground by Hatcher. It's going to bring up the lefty Doug Lohman, who walks. Two walks now for Uger. And now he's got to deal with an, a lefty. Betting 245 versus righties, but he's 0 for 2 on the day. Ground ball to Wagner. Easy play. So the Brewers are making some noise, but they are not scoring any runs. It's one nothing Detroit, top of the fifth. Kevin Bass, base hit to right field. Good job by Bass. He's in a little bit of a slump. He's going to be seeing a lot more time now. So we expect better from him. We're going to sack bunt him over. Wags lay down a bunt with that 79 over there. Nice job. Moves him over. Sack bunt for Wags. Base and <laughs> base. Bass in scoring position. With one down. Sweet Lou. Sharp ground ball to short. Kevin Bass holds for the second out. He's going to leave it up to Ricky. Walk twice so far. Shoots it in the center field. Falls in for a hit. Kevin Bass scores. I mean, do we? No, like, we don't want to do it, right? Every time we get thrown on the base pass, they score a ton of runs. That's what happened. To Hume yesterday, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. We got a two nothing lead. We got to learn to be happy with that, and give Hatcher a chance here to do something good. Uh, 
It's a pop-up, carrying to the outfield grass behind short. And Romero makes the play. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Uh, Uger at 68 pitches. We have to trust that he can get through these righties. He's only given up four hits so far. As Romero dumps it into left center field. There's a base hit. Is Romero three for three today? Two for three. So runner on first. Here's Paul Mulder. One swing of the back and tie it. Now he pulls it into left field for a hit. Gets down into the wall. Second and third now. Tying runs on second base. Um, we're going to play back. We'll give up a run. Hold Mulder. Maybe get a double play. Oh, come on. I mean... The I don't even have words for how stupid that is that that happens. Now we have to pull the infield in. Grounder to third. We get Molitor at home. I mean, I would rather, I would feel better if the game just gave up a base hit and two runs scored. Like, that would make me actually feel better about the game. But to have, every time a runner gets on third, to have a run scored by a wild pitch... It doesn't make sense. As Lemming gets a base hit to right. We are still in a jam here. This is a double play opportunity with Dave Sachs, the catcher up. I mean, they might score another run anyway. As uh, Sachs lifts it to right. Will Azador tag up? He does not. So Uger needs to get Cockrell here. 290 hitter versus right-handers. Uh, we're going to play everything straight away. And crushes it to center field. Dawson tracks it down. Tigers maintain the lead, two to one. <laughs> one run scoring on a wild pitch. All right, Lance Parrish leading off the sixth inning with a ground ball to short. One down. Next up is Dawson. Dawson, another over so far. Two out now. Trammel walks. Um, I mean, I'm thinking about stealing, but I think we just got to let it play out. And a ground ball by, by uh, Giddy. Okay, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. I'd like to have Uger get Charlie Moore, then we'll bring in a lefty for the next two guys. Moore gets under it, pops it up into the outfield grass. That's deep enough for Henderson to get it. Oh, it says shortstop caught it. I don't know, 200 feet. Is a shortstop going to run 200 feet? One down. Okay, so uh, good job by Uger. He's going to leave with the lead. He just gave up the one run. We're going to bring in Capizello, who um, is lights out versus lefties. 178 they're batting the other two left-handed pitchers for some reason have reverse stats in the uh, lefty righty matchup so let's get through this and we'll figure it out from there oh come on Loman just crushes it right to the wall for a double that's a tying run Scooby pops it up two down Two down for Romero, who's two for three. It bets 375 versus lefties. Uh, we just got to play the odds, folks. We're definitely not going back to Hume in this situation. We're going to bring in Dave Patterson. Now, Patterson has pitched pretty well of late. He had that one horrible outing, and now he's had five in a row to make up for it. So maybe he's still got one. More good out in him before he gives up a run. I mean, six runs, two runs, two runs. I don't know. It's a risk, but we're going to take the chance. Bring in Patterson. Romero batting only 261 versus right-handers. 
And there's the hit. Oh, no! The play is made by Whitaker. In my mind, in my imagination, I see him diving for it, smothering it, and then popping up and throwing him out. And we'll take it. We needed that desperately. We go to the top of the seventh. Two to one, Detroit. Here's Kevin Bass. He had a base hit the last time up. Slices it to right. One down. Next up is Wags. One for one with that sacrifice bunt. And another hit. Wow, Wagner. Going for the team MVP. Okay, 70% chance. He's got to make it, right? This could be... This is exactly what I don't want to do. Because I know that if he gets thrown out, we're going to get crushed. Here we go. Oh, Wagner's safe with another double. His sixth double. Wow, I think that's tied for second on the team. Okay. So Lou's up next. Batting 345 versus lefties. One for three today. He's got a ribby. Uh, he was due for a strikeout. Good job by Travers, but only a second strikeout. And now we need Ricky to come through. He's one for one with two walks today in an RBI. Pulls it past the third baseman, Cockrell. I mean, Azador. Wagner scores. And it's three to one Detroit. Okay. Now we could take a chance with, with Henderson stealing second base. 72% chance. Now, and maybe... You know, maybe this is a, a surprise. We haven't stole that much with him. He's got 12 stolen bases. He's 12 for 26. Take a look at my log, his log. And uh, he is five out of his last eight. And he has not attempted a base. Well, I guess it's been three games ago. Youch. We're going to do it, though. Here we go. Hatcher at the plate. And he steals second base. It's all going Detroit's way here. Henderson, 13th stolen base on the year. 13 out of 27. And then all that drama for Hatcher to fly out to left center field. Okay, nicely done. Okay, we're not going to follow our rule. We're not going to bring Patterson back out. We are going to bring in Tom Hume, who got his nuts in a vice yesterday and got him crushed. He gave up four runs. There's no way he's going to give up another run today. We do have the 3-1 uh, to one lead. He's going to face uh, Molitor, Azador, and Lemon. Molitor's the only one I'm concerned about. And he skies it to center field. One down. Next up is Randy Azador. He's popping it up to third. Hatcher under it. There we go. Two outs. And then Chester Lemon up next. Line drive. Ground ball. Hard hit ground ball. To Whitaker. And that'll do it. So we go to the top of the eighth. Three to one Detroit. Travers at 100 pitches. Still in there. That was ball four. The Parrish was swinging anyway. We got to give him the day off tomorrow. I did bring Bobby Ramos up. I don't know if anybody saw that. But Bobby Ramos is back in the majors. We sent Marty Party back down. Andre Dawson taking an 0 for today. Our number 4 and 5 hitters are 0 for 8. Bill Travers tired now. And Trammell pops it up into foul ground. One, two, three inning. I'm curious if uh, Travis will come back out for the ninth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. We're bringing in our next righty, our last righty, Roger Weaver. Does he go for two innings for a save, or will we bring in a lefty Rucker to get the lefties coming up? Okay, so... He's got Dave Sachs, Cockrell, and Moore. Ground ball to second. There's one down. Good job by Weaver. Alan Cockrell up next. 
Striking him out. Nicely done. Playing the odds here. Charlie Moore, tough out. Strikes him out on a curveball. And we go to the top of the ninth. This is more like it. This is this is a good game. If we were to lose this game, I wouldn't feel bad about it. I probably would be a little ticked off, but I wouldn't be overly upset. Okay, so Frank DePino into the ball game. He is their closer. He's pitched 20 games this year, two and three, a 686 ERA. Yowch, 21 Ks though in 19.2 innings, five saves, two blueies. Take a look at his splits. Uh, yeah, lefties. Uh, what is it with lefty pitchers and lefty hitters? DePino does a poor job. So let's see if Gibby can get a base hit against DePino. Nope. Hits sharply to second. Molitor catches the line drive soft line. Next up is Kevin Bass. Ground ball, base hit to center field. Two for four on the day for Bass. I think the player of the game so far is Henderson. Two for two and two walks, but um, Bass and Wagner. Now, if Wagner hits a home run here, I'll tip the cap to him. Oh, he hits it hard, but it's going to be... Oh, I thought it was going to be a double play. They just get the lead runner, Bass, at second. And we're back to Lou. Two down for Sweet Lou. And they walk him. Now, Ricky can add to his uh, game totals. Two for two, two RBIs, two walks, and a stolen base. And he lifts it into center field. Is it going to fall in? Oh, nope. No dice. We go to the bottom of the ninth. We're bringing in Rucker, folks. Rucker leads the team in saves. He's going to have to face a couple of lefties, and I'll show you. He does not get lefties out that well. Righties, pretty decent. Lefties, not so good. But we're going to play the matchups. That's what we do here. And Rucker's going to have to face Loman, Scooby, and Romero. Those three names do not frighten me. As he strikes out Loman, good job by Rucker. One down. Next up is Scooby. Ground ball to second. Whitaker flip it to first. Two down. Now Romero batting 375. We don't want him to get on and get to Molitor. Let's go after him, Rucker. Popping it up. That should do it. It's going to be right at the first base bag, and Travel makes the play. Good job by Detroit. Tigers win 3-1. to one. That is a quality victory against a tough team right now. Let's take a look. No trade offers. We've traded everybody we can trade at this point. Take a look at the standings. We have a one-game lead now over the Orioles. Yankees fall to three back. Boston four. Milwaukee five. Cleveland, that was crushing it earlier, uh, are six and a half back now. Kansas City have, has a steady lead over Seattle. Take a look at the transactions. Uh, no trades. Somebody named Wayne Coy on the Dodgers is out for five days. And then Reggie Cleveland uh, is out for 29 days. He's in the minor leagues anyway. No loss there. Okay, pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like and or subscribe. At least hit the like button. I mean, that's not hard to do. Give me a like. What that does is it boosts this video up. Like when you search for Detroit Tigers or you search for someone searches for Milwaukee Brewers, it boosts it up among the lists. So it helps, you know. You get more views. I get more time viewed. Uh, yeah, so easily Ricky Henderson... Uh, with his nine, ninth player of the game, tying Hatcher for the team MVP lead. Whitaker uh, got his fourth double. Wagner's got two, so he did get credit for that one. Uh, Henderson has a stolen base. Uger gets the win, five and three. Other than that stupid wild pitch. Um, good job by him. 
And uh, Dave Rucker got his eighth save. Bill Travers, hard luck loss, going to three and four with 112 pitches. Wow. Three doubles by the Brew Crew. That's it. We're going to be back tomorrow with game two of this three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.